Welcome to our 14th lesson. In this lesson, we are going to talk about matrix LED. What is a matrix LED? A matrix LED is basically an many, 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 many LEDs combined in matrix structure, eight on eight. We have eight LEDs here and eight LEDs there. We can combine those LEDs together to create an image or maybe just write some text. For example, hello world or crow pie. Or we can do some square, rounds and other kind of figures on top of the LED. How are we going to use it? Let's go and take a look. We're back into our crow pie now. Let's take a look into our matrix LED. The matrix LED is located right here between the breadboard and the segment LED. Now, the matrix LED have a lot of dots inside of it, but if you look closely, those dots are actually LEDs, each one and one of them. Now, how we, how we are going to use it? Let's go into our crow pie folder and find the file called matrix demo. It should be somewhere right here matrixdemo.py. Let's open it with our IDE. As we mentioned before in some of the lessons, there are a couple of scripts that are not yet supported with Python 3. So this IDE only supports Python 3 and we cannot execute the script inside of it. We will go line by line understanding how does the matrix LED works and then we will execute it using our terminal. Now, let's check this out. We, first of all, we import a lot of library. As you can see, a lot are using Luma at the beginning. Luma Core, Luma Core, Luma Virtual, and so on. Those all Luma things are related to the Matrix LED library. They import multiple functions and things to show on top of the LED. Another thing is we import RE and we import time, which are also library we will use in our lesson. Now, there are many functions inside. The first function we will use are, is called main. We set the block orientation, rotation, and so on. First thing, we, we define our matrix LED module using serial. We use SPI, port 0, device 1, and GPO and OOP. Now, this thing, we don't need to touch it, as we already configured it for you. If you change some setting, it might make the matrix LED not work properly. Now, let's look into our device. Now we set the device using the serial, which we set up before, and we set some other information that you can change, like rotation, orientation, and so on. This will show how does the LCD rotate to you and show the information differently. Now, we initial the matrix LED, and then we want to print something basic, like hello world. We will print hello world using the show message function. We put the device, that we initialized at the beginning. We write the filling, which we will use white as default. We use the default font and we write the scroll delay. You can change the scroll delay to make it scroll faster or slower. This is the basic sample of hello world. We use the main function to execute it. We use main right here. We call the function main. We use main, we write block orientation 90 degrees to make it straight right to us and rotation zero. This will make it look normally and by default you should not change those settings. But we highly recommend you to change them just to experience how does it work and what can you do with the settings. Now, let's go into executing the script. As we said before, we are not able to execute it with the IDE due to Python 3 and Python 2 issues. Now, if we execute it, we might get error that the Luma module not found, which is not supported. Now, to execute it, we will need to open our terminal. Inside the terminal, we'll go into our desktop, as we mentioned in our previous lessons as well. Inside the desktop, we have our folder called CrowPy. We'll navigate into the CrowPy folder, and now the only thing left is to execute the script. As we mentioned before, the name of the script is matrixdemo.py. So we write Python matrix demo.py. As you can see, matrix initialized, printing hello world, and you can see right here that it will print hello world. You can try to print multiple things and maybe other sentences or light up different LEDs on top of the matrix LED. We really want to see how you're going to use it in your next project and see you next time in our next lesson.